Why did we start a podcast? We started this podcast for a few different reasons, for very passionate reasons, I would say. Um, I'll start mentioning them and then you can dive in deeper on the reasons uh, that you feel. One of my biggest ones uh, was I wanted you to have a space that you could open up more. Um, I know we're pretty active or you're pretty active on social media. You know, you post a story or two every day, not the best. You post a reel every single day. But I feel like people didn't really know you. Mm -hmm. And I think that you had a you have a lot of strong opinions on things. And you've always felt, which I completely understand, felt weird posting about some of those things or you don't want to get um, canceled. <laughs> not getting canceled, but just, just more sound like you're just like somebody complaining about things all the time or that you, I don't know, you, you never, you kind of want to appeal to yeah. everybody and you no. don't want to like, you want to explain yourself. If you have yeah. like a harsh, like, Hey, this is, I have a really strong feeling about no. this. I wanted to give you an outlet to like fully open up. Yeah, no, <laughs> I am number one. I mean, I'm, I could definitely hold a conversation. I'm not awkward by any means. I'm a little bit awkward, but as far as the me putting myself out there, if you know me, you know that I hate hurting people's feelings, mm. but I do have opinions at the end of the day. And it's been a really hard balance for me to be opinionated and not step on people's toes. If you notice in the podcast, I'll, a lot of the time I'll kind of backfire what I say or is that yeah, the right like back word? Backpedal. Backpedal yeah. what I say. And it's just because I don't want to hurt other people's feelings. Um so I mean me being on Instagram, I'm a little bit shy to show up on stories. I'm not very outspoken. i I like to respect other people's opinions, but I do also have opinions at the end of the day. So um this has given us a platform to for us to be able to speak what what we, what our thoughts are on things yep. and to just be able to show you guys our personalities yep. to get to know us. I think Instagram's difficult, especially when you try to jump on your stories and you have a 30 second story and you're just like rant rambling on. And then somebody says something and you're like, well, that's not what I meant. And then mm -hmm. you have to go back on your story yeah. and try to like, and then like by that point you lost story views and then you're like, wait, everyone's not even seeing oh, me. Yeah. Like <laughs> I, I said, I, I said, I didn't mean it that way, yeah. but half the people didn't see it. So yeah. And I completely understand that. And I respected that because I would always push you to go like, you feel those ways, say it. And you're like, yeah, yeah but there's nuances to like my heavy opinions mm -hmm. where it's not a one size fits all. Mm -hmm. But then if you try to, give all the nuances in a story or in a post, you lose oh, yeah. people. So then they don't even get, understand yeah. what you're saying because they're like, wait, you're, you know, you're saying you're the opposite. You're totally. being a hypocritical. Right? <laughs> and I, I get my feelings hurt very easily, which is something that I'm really working on. Somebody just commented on a podcast from two years ago and they said, <laughs> you said, you know, and it was very distracting so many yep. times. And I said, excuse me, how about you get up on a podcast and put yourself out there? So it is a, a sense of vulnerability when you're putting yourself out there. And that's something that I struggled with for a really long time. Yeah. Um, and we, again, we have a lot of opinions and a lot to say, and we want you guys to learn and grow from us. So this was just the perfect platform to be able to do that and work on my speaking skills. Hence yeah. why two years ago, I was not the best. <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah, that going into one of the next things I was going to say is that one of the next most beneficial things for this podcast for us is for us to learn how to speak better and be on the fly and have to learn you know, we don't cut these up, you know, we'll trim the beginning when sometimes we have issues with like intros or we'll cut out the <laughs> outro a little bit. Um, we'll have to cut the middle if the baby wakes up screaming sometimes. Or your throat made a weird sound. Yeah. Or Victoria <laughs> makes fun of me because yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks for that one. Um, but so I think in general, it does give us a way to learn how to speak much better. We spend a lot of times listening back to our podcast um, it felt really weird for me in the beginning. Victoria's really analytical or, or she loves to like hyper analyze herself. I will put something out yeah. because I overanalyze it 50 yeah. times. Which, but, and, and you've gotten better at that now, but for us, it's, it's amazing to sit here and have a conversation. We can get off the podcast, talk about what we felt about it, but then a few days later, go back and listen to it again before it comes mm -hmm. out and then listen to it again once it's out and go... I got to not do that next time. And oh, every yeah. podcast we speak on, we learn. And I'm sure there's like cringy moments for this might be a cringy moment right now for me that we're learning from every single time we talk. And I think yeah. that's one of my favorite parts about doing the podcast. No, and I and I hope that you guys hearing that you can understand that you can't get good at something unless you keep practicing. Yeah. So even if you do sound silly, you know, I, I look at old 
old videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. But you can't just live like that forever. You can't just put yourself in a box and say, I can't do it. I can't do better. You're, you have to be uncomfortable yep. to get better at, at speaking or whatever you want to accomplish. Yep, exactly. And I think, yeah, that's amazing too, of just to like push ourselves. If we listen back to the first few podcasts, it was pretty rough. Like yeah. we, we weren't born to be podcasters. <laughs> and even now, I don't think we're amazing at it. I think we're much better than we were before, but we're still learning every single podcast. And unless we get on front of these mics and just go for it and sound annoying <laughs> or sound cringy, uh, we'll never be able to move from it. From the last thing I want to talk about, which I think is the most important um, thing that getting into this podcast was, is that we have so much knowledge that we wanted to be able to give away. And now this is a perfect segue to talk about the podcast was the intro to giving the knowledge, but now we actually have a Patreon, which this episode of the podcast is sponsored, sponsored by our own Patreon optimized aesthetics, uh, which includes some amazing things that Victoria can help explain. Yeah. Our Patreon is a community based platform. It truly is somewhere where you can, you know, engage with other aesthetic providers in the industry and talk to me directly. So this is a platform for you to learn and grow your aesthetic business. And we release videos monthly. And if you have any requests, you can always, you know, put them out there and we will do our best to make each, every, every single video. Um, they will eventually all come out, but yep. How much can you do in one month, right? Because yep. we get so many requests every single day. But um, yeah, this is a place for you to grow your aesthetics business. We also offer exclusive stock video footage for you to put into practice. Um, we shoot editing, um, how to utilize all of your tools on Instagram, CapCut, all the editing skills. Um, and we provide that footage for you so that you can practice for until you get the tools for you to do this on your own. So yeah, thank you to our own Patreon for sponsoring this video, keeping the lights on in here and giving us a place to pour more free information and chat with you guys about everything we're going through. Uh, so yeah, going from there, uh, back to why we originally started the podcast is one of the biggest things is that after we spent about a year in business, uh, maybe a little bit less around there, we just feel like we had so much to teach already because we made so many mistakes. And mm -hmm. um, if you guys don't know our story already, we went balls to the wall when we opened up the doors. Um, we had zero clientele in a brand new city where we didn't know a soul and had to build it from scratch. So I think it gave us a really unique position where when we opened up the business, we didn't have the second month's rent, right? So it had to work out. There was no other options and we dove into it together and figured it out the hard hard ways. Mm -hmm. And we want to teach other people how to not make the same mistakes we did. We want people to take the shortcuts and the yeah. Patreon does that a lot, but I hope the podcast can also do that for people. I hope it can motivate them, understand really who you are, who I am and what we do together. Yeah. Um, all the trials and tribulations that we went through to get to this point mm -hmm. um, and that it wasn't all glamorous. And I yeah. think the podcast is a really good way for us to get really vulnerable. And if you haven't listened to a lot of the podcast episodes, please go back because there's some almost embarrassingly vulnerable moments where we dove into like this is exactly what it looked like and mm -hmm. this is how we got by yeah. and I think that's what one of the biggest inspirations that we hit that we had when starting this was mm -hmm. yeah I mean that's why we started the podcast before we even launched a you know online platform is because of a core style you know platform because we wanted to make sure that we were you know well spoken that yep. we could really provide true value and being in this for a few years now we truly feel like we can give that value and that knowledge from our personal experiences and something that we you know we don't want to sell you we just want to we want to give you guys the knowledge and the tools to be able to avoid mistakes that we made um, and continue to grow together and really yeah. have that true community on um, in the aesthetics industry. Yeah, and what we wanted to build is we wanted something that we wish we had when we yeah. first started. And, and the Patreon and even the podcast itself, if we had a podcast like this, if we can listen to people who were struggling the same way we were struggling, it would have sure helped a lot. And like oh, yeah. you mentioned, and you talk about all the time, the motivation I think for you is motivating and giving these other, because you as a woman who was there in the treatment room waiting for your only mm -hmm. client of the day and yeah. having to look at yourself in the mirror and push forward, you want to give these other girls inspiration to go oh, yeah. if I can do it you can do it yeah right I mean we we listened to a very um popular um 
marketing guru. His name's Alex Hermosi. And one thing, again, that he talks about all the time is giving value for free. Um, so I would even look at the people that you look up to, or if they're selling a course, do they provide value for free? Are they going to give you the tools or are they just solely selling you something? Because in my opinion, in any industry, there are so many courses where people are just like selling you, but they don't have any type of like proof. If that makes sense, they just want, they just constantly are just selling. So just like be careful when you are investing in certain courses. And I can definitely give you um, some insight on, you know, good online, you know, advanced trainings to take and all the things. But I mean, just be just be mindful of when you're looking into those things, because it's really easily, e- really easy to get sucked in, especially as a new provider. Yep, And that's why we try to be extra vulnerable and extra open yeah. and really honest about our numbers and, and what exactly it looked like for us. And we're just an open book. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's a, a pro and a con in some <laughs> ways. It can feel embarrassing and vulnerable sometimes. Um, but I know what we can do for younger people that are taking their first steps in this space to completely understand, like, this sucks sometimes. It's this hard. isn't all fun. This isn't, there's no viral posts that book out your clientele. And, yeah. you know, those are conversations we want to have. We want the young person to know because in the beginning, we were looking for virality too. Mm-hmm. We thought the viral post, we thought the one, the, the one pop and Instagram reel was going to change our entire trajectory of our business. Yeah. And we got one that was bigger that was into our the initial marketing um, strategy was we're just going to post all this high quality content and we're going to get bookings and no, number one, you're, that's not how it works. And number two is you have to know how to utilize. You have to know how to edit. So if you have made it this far, please comment your Instagram or your website below. And we would love to do a free audit of your account so that we can help you grow. Um, and we can obviously, I think that would be really fun to do. So yeah, yeah we're thinking about, we're probably jumping on a live next week. Uh, or we're doing multiple YouTube lives. And I think, yeah, if you guys start dropping them down here, we'll kind of have mm-hmm. a little stockpile yeah. of people we can go through. I have such and a passion into. now where I'm like, this is how you can do better. Like, this yeah. is how I would redo this clip. Yeah. And so. And it's fun for us just to do it. We love it. Yeah. We love people. We love doing this. And that's kind of the motivation a behind it all. So. Yeah. Okay. Calm down. If you <laughs> want to send me some videos. <laughs> you can always try to work full time for them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next week. Got you. I'm working Dang it.